Hi everybody, we are looking at how to say the 40 most difficult words to say in English. Let's go, I don't want to waste any of your time. I suggest that you count how many of those you would have said wrong. Let's go. Number one, yes, many trip on this one. Rural, rural, yeah, I know, rural. Quinoa, quinoa, this is a food. You might not use that every day, but quinoa. Well, this is a type of doctor, otorhinolaryngologist. It's a long word, we'll look at quite a few long words here. Otorhinolaryngologist, it's not that hard, is it? Colonel, Colonel, I know, that's got nothing to do with the spelling, the pronunciation, Colonel. Oh, that's getting to be quite a long word, have you ever seen that one, said that one? Floxinocinehilipilification, oh, sorry, I trapped. Floxinocinehilipilification is how you say it, it's a fun one, that one. Floxinocinehilipilification. One of the longest words in English, but we'll have a look at longer ones. One from French. Many struggle with French words, right? Entrepreneur is how it's said in English. In French, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Croissant. Another French word. In French it's said as croissant. The T is silent. Croissant. Croissant is how you say it in English. Anesthetist. Anesthetist. Yes, anesthetist. It's tricky, but it's not too hard once you know. How do you say this one? Do you know how to pronounce it? There are actually two different ways. In British English, it's said as nausea. Nausea. Now, in American English, it's generally pronounced as nausea. Nausea. That's why. You had a doubt, I suppose, but now you know. This is not a word, but rather a brand name. So few people know how to pronounce this correctly. Louis, yes, the S is silent, it's French. Vuitton, Louis Vuitton is how it's said in French. Louis Vuitton. Genre, genre, as in the genre of this movie of this book. This is the full form for DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid. That's how you say DNA in full. Deoxyribonucleic acid. It is a mouthful indeed. Oh, don't forget what to like the video. Do you know how to say like? And do you know how to say thank you? I smile. Love heart. Yes, thank you for liking this video. You've got this far. You might as well support what I do. Thanks very much. Support is appreciated. Excedentasiast. Excedentasiast. It's easy. Salmon. You probably know that one, but remember that the L is silent. Salmon. This is a name. An Irish name that many get confused by. There's a famous actress named that way. It means freedom, and it said, Sirsha. Yes, I know, Sirsha. Why is that? I don't know. Ask Irish people. This is probably the longest word in English. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silicovolcanoconiosis. It's a disease caused by in breezing ashes from a volcano. Do you believe it? Pneumono ultramicroscopic silicovolcano caniosis. It's a natural word. Another French word. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. From French, charcuterie. Who knows how to pronounce that one correctly? Diarrhea. Yeah, the spelling is weird. Diarrhea. How do you pronounce this one? There are two different ways. In British English, it's said as fragile. Fragile. In American English, it's generally said as fragile, fragile, yes, I know. Why? Well, American English and British English are different. Schadenfreude, I'm pretty sure you never heard about this word. 
Well, it's when you take pleasure to see someone suffering or having difficulties. It's not a great feeling, but we experience it. Every once in a while, every one of us does. does. Schadenfreude, that's from German. And it's a very interesting concept and word. Do you say this resume or resume? Well, both. Resume is the noun. Resume is the verb. Another one of the longest words in English. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh, I didn't say this very well. Let's try it again. Anti-disestablishmentarianism is how you pronounce it. It's a mouthful. Content or content, depending on the word. The videos on YouTube are content. If you're happy watching videos on YouTube, you're content, meaning you're happy. Macabre, macabre, another from French. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, yeah, the spelling is weird here, as in the Worcestershire sauce. It's also a county in the UK. Aesthetics, aesthetics, aesthetics. It's a mouthful and the spelling is weird, but now you know. Almond, just like salmon. The L is silent here, almond. Diaphragm, diaphragm. The G is silent here, diaphragm. It's confusing, so how do you say this one? There are quite a few different ways of pronouncing it. Which one is yours? Let me know in the comments. So, which are the different ways of pronouncing this? Data? 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 How do you say it? Four different ways of pronouncing it, indeed. Data? 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 Yeah. It's crazy. Chores? Chores? Pretty simple, actually. Different ways of pronouncing this one. The one that is closer to the French origin is homage. Homage with a silent H. Many say it as homage, homage, or homage as well. But really, you should say it as homage, I think. But yeah. Integumentary. Integumentary or integumentary in American English. A weird word. Caramel, caramel, or do you say it as, perhaps, caramel, caramel, right? Yeah, both are correct, American and British. Cuisine, in French it's said as cuisine, but in English, cuisine. How do you say that one? Oceania, Oceania, many get this one wrong. How do you pronounce this one? Route or root? Route or root? They're both correct. British or American? Debt. It's actually easy once you know that the B is silent. Debt. Rain. Rain. Strange spelling, but it's easy. How do you say this one, though? Sue. Sue. Yes, it's how it's said. It's from French again. That's why the X is silent. And how do you say this? Subscribe. You don't say it. You just hit the subscribe button. Do you want to know how to pronounce more incredible, terrible, absolutely impossible words? I suggest that you watch some of my other videos on the channel. Again, like this video if you haven't done it, but you found this video interesting, entertaining, or else your help is much appreciated. I will see you soon in the wonderful world of pronunciations. Thanks for watching.